Hi, so I know I'm a bit of a, I'm in a bit of a different setting right now, but that's because I'm over at family friend's house, but that's besides the point. Oh, okay. But, um, <clears throat> since, uh, tomorrow, I'm recording this March 7th, and tomorrow is the one year anniversary of my album, Ignorant as Hell, so I figured I would make a sequel to my Who Am I video. Because it would be a cool title saying, reacting to my second album one year later. Um, but, uh, I don't really have many expectations for this. I guess just a bit better than, um, uh, Who Am I on a bit of a technical level. And maybe tiny bit quality-wise. I know this album is still not mixed. However, uh, like about halfway through the, the recording of this album, the quad video happened and I got a microphone and I got GarageBand on my laptop. So at least the recording quality got upped a bit. But the first song is legit, just called Intro, which is totally an NF ripoff. I'm an NF stan, so I definitely got that from NF. I know a ton of other rappers have done, like, intro songs like The Baby and stuff, but this was definitely an NF ripoff. But, uh, here we go. Um, yeah. Back to dome, stop to tell me that I'm up crap, but I'm on the back, so I'm spinning back, so I'm back, come on, my neck and up. Just one thing, it doesn't seem like I knew how to properly record at the time, because I'll... It's like I just noticed like how my volume would just suddenly boost up like I would, I would go uh, you know like if you as you can see I just randomly got really loud and since that was, this wasn't mixed I couldn't have tried to mix that out or anything but that's a little thing I noticed. Rhyme scheme there was okay. I was very off beat there. Like if you was. I'm also a bit off beat here. Right here, I'm about to be really off. I guess I tried to fit too many syllables into a sentence and I didn't fit, try to alter it, so it's just kind of like that. But okay. That ad lib. Like, <laughs> That's definitely an NF type line. The record has proved that I, I call them albums, not records, and NF calls them records. Yeah. That was the path to move on, now I don't like to do it, like to prove you, you, and you, that you screwed up. Okay, that sounded okay. That was the path to move on, now I don't like to do it, like to prove you, you, and you, that you screwed up. Okay, that's not bad. So yeah, I... Okay, that's a pretty cringe line. It doesn't even mean anything, which makes it even worse. I said, I think I said, gather your buds. I'll show you my fortress. First off, what fortress? And also, why'd you say buds? That really bothers me. Why'd you say buds? It's like a six-year-old. It's like, I'm gonna get all my buds to my birthday party. We're gonna go to Chuck E. Cheese. We're gonna have pizza. My fortress. You're stacking cash, getting fast cars, and getting lots of chicks. Oh, I like... Nope, we're skipping that. About how much chicks... Nope. Just that tone and the setup to that line. He gets lots of chicks. And I just went, oh, he... Oh, I listen... Yeah, I'm, I'm not listening to that shit. Here, I'm gonna tell you, you think that's good, empty your damn plate. Offbeat. You're lit, you can't even debate that they're 8 out of 100. Yeah. Again, offbeat. That doesn't even, and it doesn't even rhyme. That's good, empty your damn plate. You're, yeah, think you're elevated, you're related. Oh, I am. Well, you're getting lazy. I'm not shady. But I'm not afraid. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. Um, I'm not shady, but I'm not afraid. Pretty simple line. However, it is easy to get and it does work. And I like the little rhyme scheme that I went for right before that. But so far, it's kind of a boring song with a few tiny shines of hope. But it isn't much. And considering the song is a mix, that it's not going to help its case either. But yeah. Okay, that sounds okay. Okay, 
that that was actually pretty nice. I was on beat the entire time and I was kind of interpolating different things and I was switching up flows and it sounded pretty nice. Immediately dropped the ball. I started rapping there like a second later than I should have. I was pretty offbeat there. It's kind of annoying, honestly, how offbeat I am on this song. Just kind of, yeah. What did I just say? Soul gets to my phones? Foons? Okay. None of these words rhyme. There's no rhyming. There's no attempt at rhyming. I'm just saying words. I was really out of breath at the end there. I could really hear the, oh, the door! And also, I was just offbeat again, but intro had tiny, tiny rays of hope, but I was offbeat a lot, and I had trouble at understanding what I was saying during like the beat drop area of the song. But next we got um, Ego. Now, what I remember about the song, I had a lot of fun writing this one, but this was just supposed to be like a tape of just bangers. But then I'm like, but it would get boring. So I added in some like NF sad songs to like, oh my God, I hate everyone because I'm sad. And apparently this song was supposed to justify that. That's what I remember. But I remember thinking, this will be an ignorant banger, but it really ties the whole thing together. But this is probably just a shitty, bad concept that doesn't work at all. But you go. Ego, ego, ah. And I was very close to my mic right there. That was kind of out of nowhere. Ego, ego, ah. People real easy. My life is on the news. It's just a life fever. I'm not... Did I really just say my life is on the news, this Justin, like Bieber? That is a horrible line. What the hell? Uh, okay. Okay, already, this is actually a lot better than intro. My only complaint so far is probably that I'm not enunciating my words very well, but my flows are kind of bouncing around the beat kind of nicely, and I kind of like that. Uh, it, there are a few funny lines, like Hot Wheels type stuff, how I skirt in your lane. That, that was kind of funny. Um, getting, uh, I think I've, like, I said something about getting bread, but I got bread and butter, some shit like that. It was an okay line, but... I like this song. It's it's okay. Um, if it was mixed and I was enunciating my words better, it probably would have been better. But this actually isn't horrible. I like my flows on this song. Cringy line. Who these people? I'm not annoyed up inside of you, just like I wasn't there. Okay. I guess and you can bet to say the cap. He just said cap in 2020. Look what is this trash? Another cringe line. Okay, that's okay. That was a decent song. A lot better than intro. That's for sure. A lot better than intro. Um. Uh, my main problem with that one is that I wasn't enunciating my lines that well, and, uh, pretty often, mainly in the second verse, I would have a cringy line, but the first verse wasn't bad, it's just that since I was going with more fast and upbeat flows, I wasn't enunciating my words well, however, my flows on the first verse were kind of bouncing around the beat kind of nicely, and I kind of liked that. Next, we're going Fraud Interlude. None of these words mean anything. 
You better stop like you were homeless on a cot. What what does that mean? What what is that supposed to mean? Also, what did I say there? Buying these jewels just like these no cows or what? Like you was homeless on a cot, huh? You want the label that's made, made, don't hesitate, like what do you make, huh? I'm cups of babe, open the gates, right for me, like I'm the head of state. And then my makeup is gonna be worth the family, lady, faking and get it with your sleeping and save yourself in the name you want to stay in lane. I made a game, you don't want the smoke or pain, huh? Yeah. I, I was like, oh yeah, fast rapping, that'd be cool. I was off beat that entire time. Like faking and get it with your sleeping and save yourself in the name you want to stay in lane. I made a game, you don't want the smoke or pain, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Doing shit like that, how did people take me seriously, like, ever? What the hell is that? That's cool when you're borrowed stone wall, sir. That's a crime, don't get behind the bar. Like, this is the wall is the end, they'll consider it crude, yeah? Oh, gonna be boring, what is this for? They will leave some blueprint, I guess I'm not beat. They don't need to look into it, need to bring the water to bottom, I'm gonna kill the anymore. They all think they're the best. Blueprint, I guess I need to look into it, need to bring the water to bottom, I'm gonna kill the anymore. What am I saying? They all think they're the best. Okay, that's an okay line. You can't get through to them like you opened a window to mesh. That, that's an okay line. Okay. Uh, that was okay. I was off beat there. However, I could understand more. However, I do prefer ego. Just because I do prefer the beat on that. But. Also, I was more on beat on that song. So. An ego, I only got off beat around once. This I was off beat for that entire fast verse and a few other times too. But next we got Quiet featuring my boy, Lil VV. This dude is like my IRL best friend. I've known him for like a few years now. This dude is my homie. And yeah, uh, we're, we're, we're pretty chill. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it about Lil VV. We're just cool. We're, we're chill. We're friends. We've been friends for a while. Uh, Quiet. It's not a good way to start off the song. This hook is bad. At least I half understood what I was saying. So I was like, I wake every morning, feel like a man. <laughs> that full sentence was absolute botched but yeah it is what it is hey yeah <laughs> Honda's gang punctures while the road turns. Kids said, Fight me. I said, Man, there's a lot to learn. Listen, I'm in an out of park, you're not fanning the car, huh? Fitting, fitting, I'm talking too much, or you can know it's catch a look. A lot of times in that little bit where I was, uh, I tried to cram too many syllables into one line, but uh, yeah. Screw them in the car, my kind of like escalate. Rubbing with a blue snow body, I'm so mad. Journals, lemonade, school, as many mates. Sipping is cool, like go to my neck and look like some marmalade. Hey, hey, went to the barber, said, Give me a new fade. Drip is so drippy, I'm giving an A grade. I like, yes, I like Lil VV on this song. What did I just say? so it's the next day i couldn't really finish the reaction there because um uh there was a thing going on but today is the actual one year anniversary of this album so yeah we're gonna continue to listen and by the way we're on quiet and um just for this to be a genuine complete re-listen i listen re-listened to the first three songs and i watched uh, my recordings and now we're back up to where we were in quiet so, yeah, we're just gonna keep going. Was it a two? You better face the truth, never make it up the page you're going. You'll need your lease and you freak your bitch. You need to replace it. You need to remake it. What was it saying? Oh. Rhyme scheme of there was okay, honestly. I wasn't really saying anything, but the rhyme scheme sounded clean, so. The game down, put in a nut, let it on. I was saying you forgot what you really are now. Generic. Can somebody tell me what I just said there? Because I don't know, man. That's a copy of a bar in Insecure, cause like the caliber of a gun. Quad had a line like that in Insecure. That's a copy of that line. 
Yeah, you are. Yeah, but I'm saying you will praise me like I am, Pastor. No. Nope. Yeah, quiet, man. That's yeah, not even how that works. I'm in my super and you know I'm going places. Yeah. It's my old sketch. I don't even need to trace it. Trace it. My car is fast. I don't even need to race it. Last man dissed me. He left the boot faceless. Yeah. I'm like a Tesla. I just gave that man faceless. The guest on my face gave me a big list. Why you always talking like a yellow pack list? Just, like I said, I hit my barber up and it's faded. I just keep on writing and writing like I need some more time. I claim that all of you were trust like I came in your house and said that's mine. Quiet. First off, those last four bars that I said, they're insanely cringe. And I said, I claim that all of you are trash, like I came in your house and say that's mine. What does that mean? That doesn't, is it like claiming something? Like, I claim this, this is mine now. Is that what I was getting at? Because if it is, that, that's not a good line. I claim that that line is garbage. But, uh, yeah. And I was even off beat when saying that. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, next they got A. I actually wrote, th fun fact, I wrote this song in LA. Like, on the flight there, I, I wrote this. For the quad video, so, yeah, that was fun. A. Lucky you. Just. Just automatically, the beat sounds like Lucky You to me. I like that song, so I wouldn't be surprised if it was a Lucky You type beat. And I worry you the phone. I go around to let this go off with the top like I got lights that matter for it. Another quad line. That's in war. They know that I'm gonna be bugging like when I go up off of the top like I got lights and I said. Go off at the top like I got lice. Used to flow. I go run to let this go off at the top like I got lice. That metaphor is overused. Oh yes, I did. No, it's not. Just quad said it and you took the line. In her own you pull up. If you do your thumbs up, you're the one that's jumping. You're stuck in this hell hole where we call you cub. I remember writing that. Um, I couldn't rhyme like i couldn't think of rhymes that like so i wrote cuck it would have been a lot easier you know if if i could have said f but yeah yeah i was on rhymes and i'm like none of these will work and then i wrote cuck in this hellhole hole where they call you cuck really i don't know what am I saying? Oh my god, that transition! Holy shit! Once again with the bad, like a and then like friggin' Yeah, like I said, I was like. That vocal layering is so bad. It's like, shut up! And then, like, three seconds later, I'm like, shut up! Like, I cannot vocal air. I honestly still can. Vocal layering is one of my weaknesses. I can't really vocal air. That's why I don't really do it much in my songs. Now, at least. Also, in this song, I noticed that I'm out of breath a lot because I'm rapping fast and I want to get it all in one take. Because when you do, like, a fast verse, uh... From my experience, at least, it seems to sound better when you get it all in one take. So I'm like, oh, <laughs> like I, I would be, <laughs> I would be really out of breath in some of these takes, and I'm really curious as to why. Like I just didn't redo it, but yeah. Cash galore. What? Hey, relevant for six months, then the flame dies out. Yeah. Yeah. All your moth buddies leave you, they all fly around. Yeah. It's a bad line. It's just a bad line. All your moth, then the flame dies out. Like, I get, I get where I was trying to go, because, like, white and moths, and then the flame dies out, and then because the light is gone, they fly away. I'm pretty sure that's, like, a play on the line from, like, a Logic song. I think it was Homicide. 
But like, why did they all fly around? Like, come on, G. You could have worded that better. If you're gonna steal lines, at least make it good. On a show to show that you're competent doing dumb stuff. I'm not gonna spend your all you can get a block out. Y'all are not a basic. I don't want a block block. Okay, I was so off beat there. Holy shit. I use a lot of yeah, a lot of yeah, dead and stop. Make a mops. Not screwed out. You're about to go in and start following. Drum man, you're just made with a noise, but if you're gonna stay. It's so bad. Just to sum it up, all you wish. The, the first verse was okay, just flows, but like, holy shit, I'm so offbeat and my flows kind of suck on the second verse. Crash, nothing more than once you pull the back, once again, get on the land, I need to admit that if you say shit, you'll sound like you'll have an asthma attack, eh? Okay, I like that ending. Like, I gotta admit that if you say shit, you'll sound like you have an asthma attack. It had a nice little rhyme and a nice little flow to go with it, and I liked a little A when I ended off the song. I should do that more. I like that. Okay, but A overall, okay, song. I, I would still say Eco's probably the top of the track list so far, but next we got Do A Lot. The hell is this? I don't think I, I don't remember anything about making it. I did not remember this at all. At all. What the hell is it? Do A Lot? Don't have time for other things. Why am I so close to my mic? Like, honestly, I was probably just like, don't have time for other things I do a lot. What? Things I do a lot. I run through and pour the stains on through the thought. Through the thought. I could have said just went through and thought, not through the thought. Other things I do. I'm sorry, I put you down. I'm sorry, I didn't want to be the problem. What am I saying? I'm gonna have to know by when you need to the more story, but you're forever gone. Game is gone. Come on, home. Flow's okay. I got off beat right at the end, but I'm, I'm like the generic right. real rappers. Like you mumble rappers addicted to lean. You know you are some garbage. Waves in your kayak. Yeah, you could really wish you. Did I just say in a monotone voice like you're riding waves in your kayak and my Adler was just splash? Stop my hump. You're riding waves in your kayak. I predicted the For Me To You song, where'd you go, oh my god! Also, on that topic, Quad, why'd you have to delay For Me To You, man? We, we were so close. Don't have time for other things that do a lot. This hook is so bad. I honestly love it because of how horrible it is. It's so funny. I have a bay hoodie now. Hypocrite. The beat hits. And then it's just like, don't have time for other things. I do a lot. What am I saying? How did Quadeca say this was an acceptable album? Oh, questions. Okay. That just ends immediately? I guess. Okay. Questions. Can you start? It's okay. That yo was way too loud and way too close for the mic. I should have backed up, but... I'm already getting bored. I'm starting to get bored, at least. Just slow flows and the beats kind of sting. How it is, it isn't really changing up. It's such a basic line. Keep a peace like zen. Like, peace as in, I'm a shoot at you, brat, brat. And also, like, peace as in, like, you know, meditation and shit. Like, and zen. Like, once again, meditation and shit. But change the flow. You gotta change the flow. Please just change the flow. Please just change the flow. Change the goddamn flow. Was that an attempt at a bar? I need to be stretchable like a rubber band, but I'm stuck in one direction. Like, rubber band, one direction is a band. It's a bad line, but I get it. Just because you get it, doesn't mean it's 
it's good. It's a bad line. But honestly, I really anything comes to my mind when thinking of bars. Like garbage. Don't want to say you smell like farts. Huh, but I'm the baby. Did I just say, but because I'm 12, don't think that I'm going to say you smell like farts? It isn't a funny line. It's just bad. So bad. So incredibly bad. You still said it. And you you added emphasis on it. I was like, you smell like farts. It's garbage. Mother Eighth! How are you doing? Mother Eighth. I'm recording. Say hi. No, just say hi. hi. Yeah! Okay. Is this video even worth it? Is it worth the content? Is my eternal suffering worth the content? Listening to this is a waste of time. That that beat dropout wasn't in the actual beat. I wanted to silence it for like the na na na, but the thing is, I didn't try to cut it out at like a part of the beat where it would work. So I would like cut it out halfway through, like that one, two, three, four. Like I would cut it out halfway, and then it would come back on like the three. So it sounded really wrong. Like damn it, na na na. Like it sounds really bad. The beat hit. Why are you doing the slow flow for the hook? Why would you put the hook here? Just write something new. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. I can't. I can. I can. Uh, okay. I'll. I'll make use of that. I'm just using different iterations of the same flow, like I would shift a syllable that I would put emphasis on, but it's like the same flow, you get, you, you catch my drift. Is that it? Okay, that's probably one of my least favorite songs, because of that smells like farts line, and it's so insanely boring. That song is so boring, I can't even imagine. Okay, so next we got, uh, Answers. Got questions and then answers. Honestly, if I wanted to do something smart, I could have just like had questions ha midway through and made the outro maybe called answers. It's like, hey, I'm getting my answers today for the questions that I asked like halfway through the album. Not even halfway, this shit's like 17 songs. 17 songs of suffering. I'm doing this shit again where I change like one syllable or it's like do 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 and then I'll go do 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 for the next flow. It's so boring. It's so cringe. Cause I, I said rap for so long, tell me the date. Oh, that's what the date is? Come on, G. I think that's like a play on Token because like at the end of all of his songs he's like goodbye and I listen to Token at this time. I'm not saying that I don't anymore, I just listen to him less now. I'm more of a fan of his old stuff like YouTube rappers. But yeah. And if the search play That's a bad hook. Need something and it is going to bring do not rhyme. Need of something, what it is going to bring. That, those do not rhyme. I just keep on, I'm going to fail. Lane that's working, something really still. Keep on learning. You don't have a driver's license. Seems to step, my eyes are going to fail. I don't know what to think. All I see is red. I just had an ad of like, can I see everything is blurry or whatever. And I had an ad of like, can't see. The ad libs on this album are gold. The only good thing about it. Wake up, start to tell get down. Don't go crying to parents. Hope on me, he made me frown. Don't go. I think I said it's a kid ad lib. Don't go crying to your parents. Oh, mommy, he made me frown. He's 
there's so this this album is just 17 songs of bad music and cringe lines and also not knowing what the hell I'm saying. And I also had a kid ad lib. It's funny. Very funny and bad. Forgot about the bad part. This is ladies and gentlemen, what I like to call lazy writing. I just keep on going and going, you know I never stop. These beat drops are are okay. And then me over here, it's like like, that was a horrible description, just, I'm so anticlimactic, and, like, I don't really come with the intensity of the beat, and also, there, I'm just bad. This is kind of fishy like bass. Oh my god, and me. You die. This hook hurts to listen to. Is it over? Why am I just mumbling the hook? Okay, it's over. Sorry, I fell asleep. Um, next we got Nah. I don't remember anything about this song. What is this beat? Can the song start? Can you start? Oh, I heard my vocals. 37 seconds, and I finally start rapping. The song's only 3.13. 3 minutes, 13 seconds. Oh my god. I just had an ad that said, that bar was litty. Please do not tell me this is the hook. I have to listen to this like two more times. However many times the hook is, all I know is that I need to listen to it again at least. What was that? It's a bad line. Is that just an excuse to use a Beeman line? Uh, that's a line from Quad song Beeman. And I said, because you know that I'm Beeman, because ha ha ha, or play. No, I just stole a line and then kind of halfway justified it. This song is crappy. That bar was litty. Ego full and one dimensional do not rhyme. That's a rip off of Tech Nine's kind of noise where he goes, at the end of like a hard bar. And then, um,. That flow right before that was from No Decimal from Quad. Again, I like to steal. Holy shit. Yeah, you're right. I didn't even put the hook right on like the right part of the beat. I'm off beat. Is it over? Thank God. Okay. What have I become is next. Why are my why is my singing so quiet? I now understand why my vocals are so quiet because I'm hearing all of these little mess ups in here and I'm and I was insecure about my voice. Still am, but like my singing, I was like, oh my god, I gotta make fun of my CD singing, so I like buried it under the beat. singing here is so awful. I don't know if you could even hear it, but it's really bad. Oh, that was awful. 
Why didn't I re-record this? Okay, that sounded okay. I liked it when I went out. That, that sounded nice. Singing is mid. It's halfway listenable, but it's also very, like, amateur. You can tell that I don't really have experience. And I still don't. Don't get me wrong, I still do not. Okay, that, that beat switch was kind of clean. I cut the beat off right before I started singing, right where the beat ended. And then I start a new beat. It's kind of clean. I like it how it kind of goes quiet for a second. So like what's going to happen and then the new beat starts. I, I kind of like that. That was nice. Okay. Okay. This is a dance before. People go and act like this problem. I keep on the front so I can just be from the water broken. That wasn't bad. I could have enunciated my words a bit more. But other than that, that was not bad. Okay. And the rhyming was actually pretty good too. Like optimist, optionist. Not bad. Three syllable rhyming for my second album and that wasn't even that good. It's pretty nice. Again, burying my singing under the beat. You can kind of hear it there. It's not that great. Auto tune is a thing, isn't it? Now I can utilize auto tune. Yes. Example, fate from high hopes. Oh, okay. So that verse was again fine. It's just that my enunciation was a lot worse in this verse than the first one. And also, what, is, what do I mean by happiness performs? I think this is another one of those times where I just kind of ran out of rhymes. Can I finally become uh, confident enough to not bury my singing? It sounds like crap. And it's kind of off beat too. No, oh, mm, that was bad. Why are my vocals so quiet on this verse? Okay, that first half was pretty bad because my singing wasn't that great, but second verse, that's probably the best thing we've heard on the album. Next up, we got the song. We got the song itself, Class and Session. I can't believe I put it on this garbage album. Why did I put it on here? What? So I just left it as it is. Why did I even have to put it on here? I'm, I'm sorry, class and session. This is still one of my best songs, honestly. My verses on here is pretty good. Take a seat, class in session. Can't take anything they hand to me. My haters know all of my songs even more than once. Yeah, I'll get you. I can be so come with it, though. You know, I'm a beast, so don't say still. I've got to the first second, don't say still. I'm gonna be wrong, the team is still. I'm gonna green on lean the pills. Watching me up on a spray got mills. I'm gonna win. Take a seat, class in session. You call me Ace. I'm hopping out the race. I'm sorry, it's a Lambo. Oops, my mistake. Turn his beat to ash just like you was born in my state. God damn it! Hey, pulled up, pulled up to the boot in my verse in the first take, huh? Bro, how am I supposed to follow that? I uh, don't know. To every other rapper, it's Memorial Day. I'm cleaning up like that's a janitorial way. I'm pissing on your grave the territorial way. But you ask, are you dumb? Is the rhetorical way, okay? I made that line. The rhetorical way line. I made that. I'm gonna be going to get to under 100k. Now what can I say? I'm to put up a 20 or whatever number you make. Okay. 10k for the future though. That was quad idea. I liked it. It's funny. Class in session. I'm 12 years old. Never see me to be threatened. He can't fit in. I text all, but I'm still a freshman. Banger song. We already know it's gonna be the best one on here. It's not even a chance. That's the shortest song on the album. Oh my god. Raptures. Oh, backstory on this. Remix of my song Rapture on my original. On my first album, it's bad. Don't listen to it. This is one big trick for you. Put them alone. Put them alone. 
I think I want to say this is my big truck one. It's a huge post like Malone. But it said put the bum no. First off, I started off that verse horrible and did I say I'm jacking a box like I'm nutting? <laughs> Yeah. I was like, like what? I love that ad lib. Pew pew. Oh, the irony. These glasses are Gucci. This song's pretty bad, honestly, if I'm being honest. I think I like the, the original more than this. It just seems like I'm trying to be good on this one, but I'm bad. That one, I'm kind of mid. Yeah, I would say the original is better than this one. Be honest, but... Next we got Drip featuring my boy Lil Vivi. Again, I'm homies, we're homies. This song was fun. This is the first song I ever made with him. So, fun fact, Lil Baby was the first person I ever told about my songs or whatever. I would freestyle at lunch, and he's like, you should do music, and I'm like, well, guess what? Okay, I just want to say, I honestly like the hook on this song. I could have enunciated my words better like a lot of this album, but I do like the hook. Okay, explanation as to why he wasn't the greatest on this uh, song. Um, for quiet, he came over to my house and we recorded this. He just had to send me a voice memo and he couldn't even listen to the beat or else it would play in the back of the voice memo and then there would be like the when I put it into like GarageBand, there would be like the layer of the actual beat in the session and there would be the beat playing in the back of his vocals and I wouldn't be able to cut it. So he just had to like wing it. So that's why it's kind of offbeat and kind of slow. I'm a sipping, sipping on a Sprite. A flyer, flyer than your kite, Wade Byard. No school, yeah, that's right. Context for that. Wade Byard is like our county representative, and he's like the guy who calls our phones whenever there's like a two hour delay or school got canceled because of snow or whatever. So, yeah, there's a context. Yeah. I just keep on going and going and give me a hand. I'm eating drops and loving me. I could have enunciated my syllables a lot more and I could have said the words properly. But I like that flow. That flow's kind of clean, low key. Fun fact uh, I said, Y'all are Pucks, Fame Steelers. I thought for the longest time, I don't really follow football. So I thought the Steelers was a hockey team because, like, back in like, my fourth or fifth grade, uh, there's this kid named Nathan. And he was a big Steelers fan. But he also was playing hockey. So I thought that the Steelers were like a hockey team for the longest time. And this is that. So I think later in this album, I think I say something like touchdown like a Steeler. Or that's a high hopes, I'm not sure. Everybody in here was saying that I got carried, that I carried him. And I felt so bad, but then we came out with Quiet. He killed Quiet. What fact about that little, like, 4, 8, whatever it was? Uh, I thought that Lil Baby was going to do that, but we agreed on different parts. And I thought he was going to do that, but he didn't. So when I was merging the song, I realized, oh, we have nothing for that part. So I just quickly wrote, uh, like, those lines and then recorded it. And then the song was done. Because... And it restates a lot of past things, but that's because I wanted to rush it to get it out. But, yeah. Was my, I had no enunciation there. I couldn't understand a word I just said. So, I would say the main problem with this song is probably just the enunciation. On my end. So, yeah. My name is Ew, what the hell is that switch? 
Also, this was pre-quad video, so I didn't have any of my setup or anything, so this was recorded on my iPad. But, like, so that's why the tape cuts are so bad. I was like, da 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 Okay, that's the end of Drip. Next week up, Babe. I don't have high hopes for this song. <laughs> oh, I already don't like this beat. This is not gonna be good, is it? I just went copy some bait. Got some bait that your girl can be bait. Yeah, I just wanna... Already, it's garbage. I knew it. <laughs> I said, I just want to call me some bape. Got so much bape that your girl called me bape. You're joking. Bape, bape. This is going to be bad. After a little Tay, I'm the youngest flexor. What the hell did I tell you? This is going to be garbage. What? Okay. So bad. I, you know, I'm going, but I'm already gone. Holy God, these lines are terrible, and I'm off B too. Excuse me. Did I really just say I'm as hard as you seeing pics of your dad? What the hell is wrong with me? Why did I think that was a good line? Oh my god, I'm so horrible. out of my suffering. I want to skip this song, but I can't since it's a full reaction. Fight me, I love me some banter. Shooting your shot, shooting my shot with your girl is like a bounder. Oh my god, I want to kill myself. This is, oh god, this is easily the worst song on here. Talk and do and nothing, when are you gonna lose your voice? Can you? This is that you would sad, you have no choice. Left them to K and say that you made it, you did a ruby choice. What? And don't you mumble and dogs gather and yell rejoice. What? I'm saying, why don't you mumble and whatever, gather and say rejoice? You have to MGK it. Say that you made it. You didn't review toys. Oh my god. What are, this is so bad. Yeah, just come to me. No one is a fake. Just restate the points that I made. Yeah, you are. Why are you acknowledging it? Just restating points that I had made? Yeah, that's just you admitting to your lazy writing. No, you're not. You're 12. No, you didn't. Pain is over. That is the worst song. That is horrible. That is so bad. Okay. Oh my god, this song. Next we got Skechers featuring Sammy. Okay. I love this song. I remember so much about writing this song because it was so fun. We, me and, we're just letting y'all know we might have another Sammy feature on messages, but we don't know. But Skechers is it, it, it got a special place in my heart. This is really fun writing with Sammy, and we're doing it again. So this is my formal announcement. We're getting another Sammy feature on messages. So that'll be fun. But, yeah, Skechers. So it was so fun to record, too. Everything about the making of Skechers was just so fun. So since we are on Skechers, I decided to bring 
the main man, the dude who I made the song with. Hi, Sammy. <laughs> yeah, but uh, making the song with Sam is honestly probably one of the most fun experiences I've had making songs. And Sam, I announced the thing: new Sammy feature coming on the album. Yeah, Woo. look at look at that. Right. Let uh, me talk, let me give me, let me let me give you let me give you some. It's called. Can I can I tell? What is Don't spoil the name. Don't spoil the name. All right, let me give you a snippet. Pickles. That's Pickles. not going on the song, but okay. <laughs> also, basically, the, the whole point of this reaction, you gotta tell them what you would do differently. Then, like, what did you do then, and what would you change if you were to do it now? So, like, what would you do on the new song? I would change my voice. <laughs> <laughs> the kid in the back of the video. <laughs> I got kid in the back. I just walked up with a statue, so thank God you did you took a congestion, so you were gone, but you're not the best. Teaching Sammy this hook was the funniest thing. You're like, you can do, 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 do. I got it first try, the first time I did it, but after a couple tries, I was like, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. You know what I would change about this? What? I would just not be in it. Hat the kid in the back of the video. Oh, it's uh, What is that uh, tone? Hat the kid in the back of the video. I won't, I won't say it like, hi, I'm the kid. I'm the video. I would say, hi, I'm the kid in the back of the video. That's worse. <laughs> Shut up. Yo, I would make it better. If it's not obvious. But I am the kid in the back of the video, you know, just rap regularly. Yeah. yeah. I've been doing what it's like every single night. I just walked in with a sketcher. Sketcher! Sketcher! Oh, that English is not right yet. Your English grade is probably low. <laughs> we thought that shit was hard. Oh, no. We thought that shit was hard. I would not. Huh? Oh, I got these bands that are robbery. I got these bands that are robbery. That's kind of a bar. No, it's not. <laughs> what the hell? Sam a bum, you're kind of funny, G. Stacking it up. No. Sam a bum, you're kind of funny, G. Get a green. I got all the money. See, have plenty of love for me. Good music. That would be great. <laughs> you named your race Jake. I'm not bantering. I just make one of okay? I get to stay in for a day. You better stay in your lane. I'm in your area, bae. Oh. I'm in your area, bae. Like bay area. Crazy Sam is overboard. Don't let this make you forget. Crazy Sam is overboard. Yes, sir. You just keep asking for more. I just keep shutting the door. You can see what's in the store. Show Mr. Beast has more. Let's go! Show Mr. Beast plug! Yeah! Let's go! Show Mr. Beast plug! I'm getting tired like snore, huh? I just like it with the sketchers, huh? I like it with the sketchers? Huh? Huh? That concludes sketchers. Thank you for the special visit, Sammy. Nice day. Yeah, sure. <laughs> that would be an ablet. That's what I would change. <laughs> ablet! That's what I would change. Okay. Peace out, Seed Crest. Next we got Swiss. This is the second to last song on the album. Thank God. But yeah. Good beat. How does this have 31,000 views? That's the thing that I'm saying. What am I saying? I just keep saying I'm up it. Oh. What? What was that singing? What even was that? Was, the singing was atrocious. And then I cut off the take because the second take started. I didn't even try to do two takes so I could like have the first one finished and then it would start down. Oh my god, this is horrible. I need to switch, yeah. I really can explain at 3 a.m. 
Oh, that did it. I was like, did it. Did it. Kind of feels like a throwback, so I'm like, oh my. Oh. I'm happy opportunity, don't want to go back to those times. Yeah. Oh. Salt feels like a whole new start for me, but before I depart, want to say a few more things, it will pierce you like a dart. Yeah. And the little yeah at the end of the line <laughs> makes it seem like, yeah, I'm serious. It will pierce you like a dart. Shut up! I enjoy making music, made it in my darkest place. Oh my god, this is cringe fest. I did it for a while and it is up my mental state. Yeah, congrats, I but I don't I care. With the help of some people, because my place, they helped me close the case. I really get in the sadness, but I'm trying to have this performing representative. Uh, again, with the happiness performance. And then I have the abominable singing again. This song is a mess. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This had a lot of potential. The verses were half okay. And then the Akimogo. Next, final song. We made it, boys. Relief. Four minutes fifty three. I thought we were right there. And then we have almost a five minute long song. Oh no. Honestly, I remember really liking this beat. I always wonder why did I choose to volunteer? I'm too close to my mic. I can hear my gain maxing out a bit. Life's a long road and I don't know how to steer. Change generic but decent line. Mirror. Think of what could I have changed there? Filling me I like the little background yeah. singing. Forget to look in the future, forgetting my commitments. And don't try to rethink a great man to don't look for happiness where you lose it. Ooh, okay. Do it, look at him and do it. Search for it. Okay, this was my attempt at like harmonizing with the thing is I couldn't mix it, I couldn't properly vocal air the thing, so it sounds pretty bad. My product harmonizing is probably on Do You Really Care? Run that up. It's not gonna be on the album, but it's a decent song. Could have been. Honestly, like I know that I could have done better, but that's besides the point. More folks on this. I like the little background vocals. Like, oh. I like the little background vocals where I'm kind of just like singing. Sounds kind of nice. Sounds like they had reverb on them too. I didn't know how I did that. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. That's not bad. So, like, this whole song is kind of like a metaphor how life is a road and I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Like, from, like, that's a long road and I don't know how to steer. And I was like, down this road, do I take a plane or a skateboard? But if I go too fast, then I might crash. Like, if I try to live my life too fast, I might hit rock bottom or something. That That's a, that, that's a good setup. I like that. I just keep on going, I really do not care what I'm feeling. But sometimes I can turn the headlights on when I need them. Those don't rhyme. But maybe when I twin tell me you're hiding. Before offbeat. I started, I wasn't doing well falling apart. But now Again, I'm losing at 60, I don't need to restart. Now Bad vocalizing. Bad vocalary. Bad vocalary. But it has shifted me for the better. Wouldn't have started this, it was a fair play. I mean, that's okay. I was off beat for that last little bit, but that's a nice little message. It's kind of poorly executed, but it works. And then we get back to the hook. That's the end of Relief, and that's also the end of the album. Okay, final thoughts on this. It's not good. Um, honestly... I would honestly say this is either on the level of Who Am I or just slightly worse. No, actually, no, it's better. Mainly because I show more technical ability in some of the songs. But, however, my enunciation isn't very good on this. So, like, a lot of the times when I'm trying to go, f like, try to bite off more than I could chew with uh, rapping fast, you can't really hear what I'm saying. You just hear mumbling, which is one of my main issues with this. 
Also, again, with the no mixing, but from here on, like, High Hopes is mixed, Messages is going to be mixed, everything is going to be mixed from now. Favorite songs, Relief, that's probably my all-time favorite from this album. Actually, no, forget it, Class and Session is, uh, but excluding that because, yeah. So, Relief, Class and Session, uh, and Ego, I would say, were my favorites. Least favorites were probably... Questions, um, Raptures, Vape is the worst song on the album, and, um, Intro, I really dropped the ball towards the end, but I wouldn't say that's one of my least favorite. Uh, I kind of think Roma is like a 1.05, like a point five, whatever. It's a bad album. I would give this maybe a point seven five or a 1. Just because it shows a bit more promise. But, yeah. Now, see the end of the Ignorant as Hell video. I want to get this up in a few days. At least before From EDU comes out. And because Quad delayed it. We got a while before that happens. So, yeah. I just want to say thank you for watching. This is going to be a long video. So, I don't really... So, I would really appreciate it if you did watch all the way through. And if you did, you're a real one. I love you. If you didn't, it's okay. I'm a boring child. Nobody really cares. But... Yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Peace.